Well, Mike, we recently had media day for the NBA, so that's when teams all across the NBA cities were available, the players were available to the media, and we're just going to focus close to home in Brooklyn. So Brooklyn Nets had their media day, and the biggest takeaways was that uh, one, there's a really great sense of camaraderie amongst the team. They're really gelling as one, and they're looking forward to building upon last season. Now, there's some new pieces to the mix, but they the the new additions really have seemed to come into the fold very well with the Nets that had been there from prior seasons, and you know. Two of the biggest names uh, in the offseason and carrying into this season was D'Angelo Russell and Jeremy Lin, the two point guards. And how would they coexist on the court and the, what roles would they play? And both of them have no doubt that they can play on the court together, that their styles mesh, and that they're really getting to understand one another as uh, players to know where they where the strengths and interests lie where they like to move on the court because the idea is that they will be sharing ball handling skills i mean ball handling possessions so jeremy lynn will have the ball and then pass off to d'angelo and it's just um, jeremy knowing where d'angelo would like to um, move and catch the ball and so i think you know there's just a really nice feeling amongst the team that they are going to go out as one you know, they don't know in terms of wins and losses what the record's going to be. They're not predicting playoffs, but definitely that's something I'm sure that would be really great for them to achieve. But it's just about going out, really being competitive, and just really, you know, being a united front. Yeah, I mean, I, I'm hoping the best for Jeremy Lin. I think that there's not to put too much pressure on him. I know that the Nets gave him this contract and everything, but I really like to see him go out and, and, and stay healthy this season and have a good year. I think one of the big goals for the Nets franchise is to get people to want to go not to see to Barclays Center, not to see the opponent, but to actually see the Brooklyn Nets. And you know what? Um, this season there certainly is more optimism than there has been in seasons past, and there should be. And the last thing I'll say is... I. You know, the fact that they've really solidified themselves here in Brooklyn. They put their practice facility out in Sunset Park. I know they say Industry City, but it's really it's Sunset Park. And so they're really now, it's not like they're half in New Jersey, half in Brooklyn, and they're commuting back and forth. I think that will certainly help. It's tough to see your buddy, Brooke I Lopez, know. gone. <laughs> um, but this is a new beginning for them. You know, this is something that... Uh, Look, with the Knicks losing Carmelo Anthony, we know that they're going to have, we'll talk about them in a second, but they're going to have some losses piling up. Hopefully for the Nets case, that can maybe give them a little bit more wins in the win column as they get ready for this big season ahead.